everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 Lexus NX and its 17 speaker Mark Levinson audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at the new Lexus infotainment system, take a look at audio controls, inputs, adjustments, speaker locations, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to get to the music, click ahead in the video, I've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're sick and tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. There you can hear custom requested tracks, copyrighted music, a little bit of my own personal music taste as well, and you help support the channel. So if you're interested, check the link in the description or hit that join button. Before we get started, let's hop out, take a look at this thing. All redone for 2022, the Lexus NX. I was already a fan of the NX and they fixed all the things I didn't like about it, so now I like it even more. I've got all sorts of different videos on this car, including also a review of the 10 speaker bass audio system in this, which is still pretty decent, all things considered. Been shooting it all day out here in Phoenix, Arizona, so we're tired and we're warm and we're hungry, but we're going to get this review done. Now we always do these tests with lossless uncompressed WAV audio files uh, on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with a sound setting set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. We were going to do a deep dive into this infotainment system, but we ran out of time and ability earlier today. But I will tell you that Lexus has completely thrown the previous system out the window, started fresh with something much better and much newer. Much easier to use just because the screen is big. This is the optional 14 inch screen. Doesn't mean they just made it large for largeness sake. They made it easy to use. They took up the screen real estate and it's a great system. There's also a smaller 9.8 inch touchscreen that we didn't get a chance to use, but I'm told that one should work just the same as this, just with a smaller display. Here we are in the media screen, but we're gonna go down to settings, sound. There might be an easier way to get to sound settings, but I haven't been able to find it. You've got an auto sound levelizer here, so as ambient noise picks up, then the media will change as well, get a little bit louder. Then you've got treble, mid-range, and bass, and your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. Let's go through treble, mid-range, and bass now. Disappointing not to have a multi-band equalizer, something like a five or nine band equalizer, but you can see there's a lot of bandwidth in those three adjustments. For audio controls, you've got a nice volume knob here. I was worried that Lexus had gotten rid of the volume knob when I saw this new system, but volume knob is still there and it works decently well. And then you've got volume controls on the left side of the steering wheel. Track selection, there are no physical track selection buttons, so you can either use the touch screen here or on the steering wheel there are physical buttons you can use, but should your passenger want to change tracks, they're going to have to go to the media screen. For audio inputs, you've got your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite, radio, Bluetooth, USB-A, no USB-C, that's only a PowerPoint, power port. Man, it's been a long day. Wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, Apple Music and Amazon Music Streaming built in, and that is it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, for a Mark Levinson system, no disc player, no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, like I said, no USB Type-C input. There's no streaming Spotify, as some of you might want. Lexus said they could add that in the future over an over-the-air update, but for now, you got Apple and Amazon. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 17-speaker system. You got a lot of these two-speaker into one Unity speakers. So starting in the bottom left, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 12 speakers just in the front. And then in the back, Surprisingly, only 13, 14, 15, 16. Look at this, no door woofer. You can see where in the 10 speaker system there is a door woofer, but not here. So I'd be really interested why they decided uh, not to do that. And then 17 is the subwoofer in the rear. On top of that, not having that door woofer back there. I mean, it sounds good from up here, but watch when you send the fader all the way to the rear, how, uh, how interesting it sounds. All right, ready?
All you've got is high end and then the subwoofer. Very strange. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Let's start out with Android Auto. You can see no cables, it's all wireless. And I like how even with this large screen, Android Auto's taken up the entire thing. And since it's widescreen Android Auto, you have your media on one side and your maps over here. And then if I were to go to media, it flip-flops, so you got your maps on the right side, your media here. Same with home screen, still kind of split up. Really takes advantage of that screen real estate. As you'll see here, when we switch over to Apple CarPlay, it looks great, but it doesn't use the screen real estate quite as well. There we go, CarPlay up, and as you can see, it looks excellent taking up this large screen. You got your settings screen right there, Apple Maps, very responsive, and Apple Music. All right, let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road. great power out of the sound system. Those are two things that I really look for. I, I look for balanced sound that you get in the lows, the mid ranges and the highs and nothing's coming through too harsh into your ears. And then I look for that power. I, I, I want to feel the music moving. This is a great track to test that. I want to uh, hear a mixture of the, the, the highs and then a, a powerful moving low. And we're getting all of that. So speaking of the lows, uh, we're going to get to the next song and turn the bass all the way up 
about part way through and see how it sounds. speaker Mark Levinson audio system here in the new Lexus NX. This thing is really darn good and it's exactly what should be in a car like this. That being said, it's not quite S tier. It's definitely an A tier sound system. A plus, but A. It just, it doesn't quite have the, the wow factor of an S tier system. Even though this infotainment system is really good, you're only dealing with, you got a limited equalizer, I mean, I'm not getting goosebumps sort of, sort of uh, sound. It's, it's very, very good. Every sort of music is going to sound good. It just doesn't have that over-the-topness of like an AKG from the Cadillac or a uh, Burmester in a 37, uh, 580 or something like that. But all that being said, for this type of vehicle, definitely perfect sort of thing for a premium audio system. If you do want to see more on the NX, check the links in the description. Like I said, we did test the 10-speaker, and uh, we've got some other videos and stuff, but... I'm going to go get myself something to eat, some water, I've been shooting way too much on this car. Either way, excellent sound system, excellent infotainment, kudos Lexus. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, 